Mumbai is one opportunity, Bangalore is the opportunity, Chennai is the opportunity. I believe that data centers could be in space as well. Narendra, it's a pleasure to have you here today. I would start asking you to introduce yourself and telling us a bit more about Hackman data centers. Yeah, thanks uh, for having me. Uh, I'm very excited to part of GRI. So I'm Narendra Sain, founder of RagBank. RagBank is a data center company, AI-focused data center company. We are building uh, three sites in the country today, total capacity of 300 megawatt when it is fully deployed. And uh, it's a green energy-driven uh, platform. Mm -hmm. Like we are using clean energy. We are using direct-to-chip liquid cooling because it's an AI-focused platform. So the density is higher. When it is fully utilized, it is going to be more than 300 megawatts. And uh, we are connecting Mumbai to Andhra Pradesh inland data center network to give a customer same experience what they have in US and other markets. Okay. The horizontal sites can do the fitment in three to four months. It's a fantastic wow. platform which world need today because AI versus traditional data centers is different and they're already there in the market. Narendra, if a developer wants to enter the data center market today, what key insights or key things you could share for them to keep in mind and follow? So uh, this is a very uh, exciting time that AI has. Uh, the good thing is AI can be anywhere. It is not needed traditionally when the data centers started. Their first approach was near to the landing station, which is a Mumbai or Chennai. But today, India, the fiber is all across India. And the priority got changed because of the AI. It's a power-driven decisions, not the fiber-driven decisions. So we are building in inland data centers in central India. And the developers can leverage this asset class. And they can generate high yield than the traditional event data center. More than double than their real estate business. So the high yield business, it can be anywhere. Mumbai is one opportunity. Bangalore is the opportunity. Chennai is the opportunity. Uh, India is a high dense if i talk about only india the population is high dense every state at least one or two data center is required okay now imagine the opportunity is huge because the current concentration is only in mumbai and chennai and some little bit okay. here and there in mumbai and noida uh, hyderabad in noida talking about the capacity of the data centers is there any rate between the use of ai and other kind of data so uh, if i talk about uh, traditional data center is already there in the market which which is used for your day to day things like uh, you are watching netflix or anything it is a, like mm -hmm. a traditional workload but now ai workload has taken over that is space. You use OpenAI today, ChatGPT, and all the AI applications, creating a video, images, whatever it is. So the LLM consumption has increased many fold. And that's where I believe that the AI workload is going to be, you know, the key and it will take over the traditional data center workload to the primary, it will be going to be in the AI data center. Talking about innovations in the data center, cooling, new hack densities or designs, what do you see nowadays happening? Cooling is a, a key differentiator because right now, beyond 10 or 20 kilowatt of power, power utilization, you can't, beyond 20 kilowatt, you can't serve with your traditional cooling method. You have to adapt the liquid cooling. Now, liquid goes into the data hard. So, you have to have those expertise to manage that liquid as well. But at the same time, it is also helping to reduce the power usage effectiveness, which is PUE, by, you know, 50%. And it can go more than that. Eventually, it reduces the cost for customers and it saves environment impact, you know, carbon emissions and all these things. Yes, yes. Uh, so the density is like traditionally 25 square feet area consume 10 kilowatt. Now the same square foot area can, can consume 200 kilowatt. So your revenue is... Yes, you revenue know, optimization. Yeah, 20x. And the, wow. your space cost got reduced. But that's why uh, this is very compelling. And the innovative technology, direct-to-chip liquid cooling is coming, uh, like already people utilize. We got patent on immersion cooling. So we submerge mm -hmm. our servers in the coolant and you can still run with the lowest PUE, which is 1.1. Right now, the PUE of traditional data center is 1.5, 1.6 in India because of our climatic conditions and the design standard, which, uh, mm -hmm. which is that. But when you use direct-to-chip, it's like a 1.2. And when you use one, uh, the immersion, it is 1.1. So this is a technology change started happening and the density is getting bigger and bigger. Are you guys already adopting this 
This, yes, this kind of so our, yes. Yeah, our so, all data centers are going to be in direct to chip liquid cooling because that's a, a majority support given by the ODMs like a NVIDIA supporting yes. the direct to chip because if you buy the chips and if they don't give a guarantee, it is going to be very difficult. So, but NVIDIA supporting direct to chip, AMD supporting direct to chip. So, we are using direct to chip in our data center. That's great. Is there any new technology or anything that you think that might change again the future of data centers? So data centers are the center for entire internet. Internet lives in the data centers. What are the innovations happening? Like NVIDIA and the AMDs keep pushing the boundary. The kilowatt, initially it was 200 watt of chips coming as a general mm -hmm. purpose computer, CPUs. Now GPU is 1.5 kilowatt to 2 kilowatt, 1 GPU. Now imagine that it, it is started increasing. And these uh, technologies are now going in the quantum side. Data centers will definitely has to adopt the latest technology and accommodate the latest change. I believe that data center could be in space as well because uh, you don't need to replicate multiple data centers. Just hang the you know data center in the space and can connect you know and transmit yeah. the signal. Yeah. So that's the best way to do that. But I think uh, quantum computing require uh, required a different kind of cooling. It is not that, possible yeah. even in, with a liquid. You need uh, helium. To cool down that servers and you need a chamber for that but wow. it is changing super fast earlier it took like a, a 15 years to reach this level but now it's just now explanation it's, yeah, right yeah and wow. it's uh, past a 40 percent year on year growth on data center uh, ai focused data center now imagine initial uh, when the uh, general purpose compute comes the customers are asking okay i will take 10 megawatt and it get year to fill that now today the ai capacity is like i want day one 10 megawatts. They start with that. Yeah, they start with uh, 15. Now they are talking 100 in a year, 100 megawatt. Imagine the workload is growing super fast. So loads of opportunities. You can lot see. of opportunities. Like pe people are not able to build data center that fast, not able to get the power fast. So there's a combination of energy and the data centers. Then only you can serve the AI workloads. Power source. Is this an issue for you in India? At this point of time, that's where the, we decided to go inland data center because AI can be anywhere. Our customer, they don't care about the location. They care about you how to have secure power. That's the primary thing. And the clean. This is the second mm -hmm. number. So this is what we are doing. We are going on the regions where the power is surplus, the state and the government is supportive on the policies. So we got a fantastic policies in the state where we are. Which is completely uh, uh, dependent on the infrastructure that you have, of course, yes, right? Absolutely. So good to know that the government is, is also working yeah. forward to, to make it yeah. a reality and expand it. We are building an AI data center park in central India, Chhattisgarh, Raipur. Naya Raipur, the, the state has given a lot of support. We got a, within 30 days land along with all the permits which is the magic uh, to the entire data center industry. And that's how aggressive the state governments. And every state has 60 to 80 million like this. Every state in India is like a equivalent to the country in the Europe. They have that much population. And that population is going online day by day. We have a billion users out of 1.45 uh, billion users. Billion users are online. Compared to America, 3x population is online. And the good thing is in India, the clean energy is 30% cheaper than the grid price. Narendra, any final message you would like to send to our audience? So I think uh, especially investors and the developer, this is the right time uh, to invest uh, in data center. And uh, data center business is not going anywhere. It is going to be there for another 10, 20, 30 years. It's a long-term asset game. Your customers are quality technology customers. I believe the India is underserved on the data center today. I'll give a fact, the current capacity deploys 1.2 gigawatt compared to China is 13 gigawatt. America is 25 gigawatt. Now imagine the India is underserved. India in another five years, most probably will add five gigawatt. That's the opportunity for everyone out there 